like me. So, my friends, it has happened. One year to the month since I applied for disability benefits, I have finally been officially rejected. I think my favorite actually is on the very back page, which says, the evidence we received shows that your condition causes some work-related restrictions. However, based on the evidence and file, we have determined that you can adjust to other work. Therefore, your claim is denied. However, they do not suggest what other work would possibly mean, which I would guess is because it doesn't exist. <laughs> so I actually took it a lot better than I thought I would because I'm aware that um, something like 80 to 90 percent of all applicants are denied the first time they apply. I did speak to an intake specialist at uh, a law firm that's, uh, you know, not too far from here, and he was really nice, and I really liked him. He was very thorough, taking all of my information, uh, and he of course turned that over to his, the attorney he works for. And um, when I got a call back from him, he said that because of my age, the attorney wasn't quite certain about taking me as a client and she wants my neurologist to fill out a very detailed uh, form uh, regarding my conditions. Uh, does the person use a cane? Yes. Does the person need a job that permits shifting positions at will from sitting, standing, or walking? Yes. Will your patient need to take unscheduled breaks or include uh, periods of walking around during an eight-hour workday? Yes! How often do you think this will happen? Every day. How long will each break last before returning to work? However long she needs. Does your patient have significant limitation in doing repetitive reaching, handling, or fingering? I would say yes, because that finger, I can bend it sometimes, like right now it's letting me. But for the most part, that finger doesn't move, so that would be a yes. Can she stoop, crouch, kneel, or climb stairs? And percentages? No, 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 she can't do any of that shit. And <laughs> this is my favorite. If yes, please estimate on average how often they are likely to be absent from work as a result of their impairments or treatments. And that says never once a month, twice a month, three times a month, four times a month, more than four times a month. I actually just woke up from sleeping for three days because tropical storm is wreaking havoc on my joints and my muscles making me hurt really bad and I just basically stayed in bed for three days. All of my abilities really depend on the weather. And I live in a coastal area so anytime we have a tropical storm brewing out in the ocean kind of coming close to us and it rains for three or four days I could be in bed for a full week that is how I got fired from my last job because I worked as long as I possibly could and I did as much as I possibly could but when it stormed that last week and I couldn't go to work for about three or four days they fired me and that is going to be the way it goes I'm not gonna be able to do much and as soon as I call in for a couple days in a row because I can't get out of bed, they're going to fire me. That is going to be the result of attempting any sort of work. The thing is, my neurologist really wants me to get an EEG, EEG done. Excuse me. I'm having trouble talking today. He wants me to get another one of those done, uh, even though I did have one about a year ago, uh, but it, that was prior to any of the seizure-like activity, and it wasn't um, you know, ordered by him. I wasn't his patient at that time, so he wants me to do another one. It's also an issue of getting my insurance company to cover it, because we had to fight with them for about four months, I think it was. Uh, November, December, January, February, March, actually about five months, to even just get the MRI done. Um, and that's five months after having a seizure. They finally let me have an MRI. 
Uh, so fighting with them about an EEG, I, I just, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it done within 60 days because my insurance company are assholes. <laughs> Uh, I actually have the paper that he wrote as a release uh, for social services because they tried to cut off my um, food stamp benefits. And in this whole thing, <laughs> he has terrible, he's doctor handwriting, but this whole thing talks about like if you're able to stand, sit, walk, or, and how long. He just wrote a big old line and down at the bottom said cannot do much of any of that due to symptoms. <laughs> I wish I wish disability would take this because this doctor is saying yeah, she can't work um, but they won't accept that because they don't trust the GP I guess they want a specialist. They and I knew my age would be um, a factor in uh, trying to get disability. However I wasn't completely aware that my age would be a factor in getting a lawyer. I figured just based on my issues, they would be ready and raring to go. And it's not the case. And that's a little frustrating because it comes back to everybody telling me that I'm too young to be disabled. And I agree, but my body does not.